It's time now to go Inside Innovation, brought to you by DMI. Well, a record crowd of 1,300 is expected to pack the sold-out 19th annual Mira Awards, April 28 in downtown Indianapolis. Now, the event features the best of tech in Indiana from all over the state. And for more on what we can expect at this year's event and also some perspective on some big tech funding and acquisition news as well, let's turn now to TechPoint CEO Mike Langelier. And Mike, as always, welcome to the program. Thank you, Gary. And we'll get right to uh, tech point before we get to some of those uh, other uh, tech developments. Mm -hmm. But uh, the Mira Awards, 19th yeah. annual, hard yeah. to believe, 19 years. Last year was a record with 900 uh, people, mm -hmm. and you smashed that this year. Yeah, the event sold out weeks ahead of an, uh, ahead of the event. Now it's sold out at 1,300 attendees, which is the limit on how many people we can have in there. As, as you said in the intro, it's the 19th year. It's the biggest night for tech. It's like the Oscars for tech in Indiana. For people right. who haven't been there, it's 15 awards that are given for company awards for best tech company, best startup of the year, uh, to product awards for best new product, to educator, tech educator, and then other uh, people awards as well. So it's, yeah. a, it's a big fun night. Well, and what I think is interesting too is uh, very much a statewide flavor. It is. And it's one night where you can see really the cool innovation, uh, the entrepreneurship, the risk takers, yeah. everything that's going yeah. on. You hear about it piecemeal throughout the course of the year, but this is one night where everybody's in the same room. It is, and, and you'll, so you'll see featured in one room, you know, we're very fortunate to have three of our most prominent tech companies in Salesforce, Angie's List, and Infosys that are there strong, but then you will have startup companies and educators and universities from all around the state that are all congregated downtown at the JW. What is the importance in your view of this event? I mean, it's a fun night and it's, yeah. it's great to recognize companies, but is there a bigger uh, really benefit to this kind of event? So we have had companies that have gone on, the, the awards, it's a rigorous judging process. Mm -hmm. we, have, we had uh, 52 volunteers your judges that invested over 850 hours, 850 hours into the judging process. So it's a rigorous process. And so as the winners come out of it, we have had multiple companies that have landed investment and investors because of the, the, the visibility that they gained, have, invest, have gained team members because um, people were attracted to the company because they heard about it mm -hmm. through the Mira Awards. Lots of benefits toward helping to lift up those that are doing really significant things. As you know full well, lots happening in the tech uh, world in Indiana, not just here in central Indiana, but around the state this week. Uh, Mike, we saw some big funding news. HC1 uh, landed $7 million, mm -hmm. demand jumped $6 million, so yep. companies continue to attract capital. Yeah, we're at, we're at $40 million just so, so far year to date, about $40 million in venture capital rate. You add on top of that $25 million from the company PFL, which is headquartered out west, but last year decided to make what they call their HQ East here in Indian, in, here in Indiana. And that's $65 million in total that's been announced just over the course of the last couple months with some, some, uh, um, some acquisitions of some notable companies as well, like Blue Lock and Octave mm -hmm. and Bitwise Solutions, yeah, Spensa company, up in West Lafayette. Yeah. West Lafayette, South Bend Company. Yep. What do those acquisitions say to you, this, this momentum behind yeah. acquisitions? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so in, in, a, in a lot of these cases, we are bringing in, we're, we're going to be inviting in companies from other places, other, other parts of the country. So it's a great opportunity to surprise them mm -hmm. on um, the, the merits of business here. And we, we've seen the benefits of that with Salesforce and, mm -hmm. and a bunch of other companies, Aperio with Wipro. Yep. And I think it's the opportunity to do that again. All right. Mike Langelier, CEO of TechPoint. Thanks for joining us. Mirror Awards, April 28th, going to be a big night. Looking Indeed. forward to it. Thank you. Thank you.